right, so the lesson today was actually based on a story entitled The Magic Pencil. The first part of the lesson actually focuses on uh, students' listening skills. Now, nowadays I think teachers, we tend to neglect listening skills because a lot of preparation work is needed. So actually what I did was very simple. I just used my handphone and I just recorded my voice and I played through a radio so that they could listen clearly. Now I actually also um, sort of write the story in a way that students will like it. There are, there are elements of surprise in it so that uh, they look forward to the story and they can participate well in the activity. Now I actually also integrated words from the year five textbooks, okay, vocabulary like parts of the animals into the story so that they don't learn it through a very traditional picture and vocab method. So they try to pick up the vocabs from the story itself. All right, guys, remember the story, the magic paintbrush that we have read in our textbooks? Yes. Okay, so today we are going to listen to a story entitled The Magic Pencil. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we are going to do a listening activity, which I need you to listen. I'm going to play the story from my phone. Okay, you listen, just sit back and enjoy the story first. Then I will give you a worksheet and then we will do something. Okay, all right. Let's get the phone. The Magic Pencil Jason came from a rich family. He loved drawing. However, he also loved to play tricks on others. One day, Jason saw a wizard in his dream. The wizard gave him a magic pencil. He said, Everything that you draw will come to life. Use it wisely to help others. When Jason woke up, he was thrilled to see the magic pencil beside his bed. Wow, this is exciting, he thought. I'm going to have so much fun. First, he drew some stones in his younger brother's school bag. When his brother carried the bag, he fell onto the floor with a heavy thud. Jason laughed out loudly. <laughs> then, in school, he drew a banana peel on the corridor outside his classroom. His friend, Victor, accidentally stepped on the banana peel and slipped. Victor cried in pain, but Jason was laughing. It was Lisa, his b sister's birthday. Jason knew she loved pets, so he thought he would give her a big surprise. A really, really big one. He took out his magic pencil and started drawing. He drew an animal. The animal was very unique. It had the head of a monkey. It had eyes of a tarsier. It had ears of a rabbit. It had the beak of a hornbill and a long trunk of an elephant. It had a giraffe's neck. It had humps of a camel on its back and stripes of a zebra on its body. It had spots of a leopard on its legs and claws of an eagle on its paw. Finally, it had a bushy tail of a squirrel. Lisa is going to love this animal. <laughs> I can't wait to see her expression when she sees this, Jason thought. Whoosh! The animal came to life. It was so weird, so funny, and, and, and so scary. Little did Jason know that this animal will recognize the first person it saw as its master. Oh no, the first person it saw was Jason. The animal followed Jason everywhere he went, and at this moment, there was only one thought in Jason's mind. Okay, you heard the story? Yes. Can you understand the story? Yes. So, uh, you will get this worksheet, all right, and then we will try, I'll play the story again, and as you listen, okay, Please try to answer the questions, okay? Right, pass it. 
que Okay. All right, any extras? Yep, there you go. So Jack, thank you. Okay. So as we play, I'm going to play the story again, and this time you try to answer it. The Magic Pencil Jason came from a rich family. He loved drawing. However, he also loved to play tricks on others. Now, I'm going to read out the statements for the true or false question. If you think it is true, please show me a like. Okay? If you think it is false, please show me a dislike. Alright? So, number one. A fairy gave Jason the magic pencil in his dream. True or false? One, two, three. Show me, please. Okay, false. So, who gave him the pencil? A wizard. A wizard, that's right. Okay, number two. Jason drew a few ice cream cones in his brother's school bag. True or false? One, two, three. Show me, please. It's false again. So, what did he draw? Stones. Stones. Very naughty, isn't it? Okay. Jason helped Victor to get up when he fell at the corridor. True or false? Show me, please. It's a false question again. Why? Did he help him to get up? No. No. What did he do? Laugh at him, isn't it? A ha 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 thing, alright? Okay, number four. Jason used the magic pencil to help the people in need. True or false? One, two, three, again? Alright? No, okay, Jeremy. Did he use the pencil to help people in need? No. No, what did he do? He used the pencil to play tricks on others. To play tricks? Oh, okay. He used the pencil to play tricks on others. Okay, is it true or false? Is it correct what Jeremy said? Okay, alright, the last one. Jason loved his siblings. True or false? One, two, three. Show me, please. Okay, I have people saying true. I have people saying wrong. Okay. Mina, tell me, why do you think? He loves his sister. He loves his sister. You agree that he, he loves his siblings. He loves his sister. What tells you he loves his sister? He drew a present for her on her birthday. Yes, he drew a present for her on her birthday. Okay. Yes, Aisha. I think he didn't love his sister because uh, he drew a big monster for his sister for her birthday. And she, he's a big bully. Yeah, okay. I think she has a point. Aisha thinks Jason doesn't love his sister, isn't it? Because he drew a big monster. Okay, uh, Ping Shen, do you agree with that? I agree. He was naughty because he wanted to frighten his sister. Yes, he wanted to frighten his sister. Okay, so now I'm going to play the part for the animal, the description of the animal again. But before that, can you please get in your groups? I want you to work together in a group to draw the animal. Okay, to draw the animal here on the back of this piece of paper. Alright, can you get into group please? He took out his magic pencil and started drawing. He drew an animal. The animal was very unique. It had the head of a monkey. It had eyes of a tarsier. It had ears of a rabbit. Finally, it had a bushy tail of a squirrel. Okay, alright. So if you have got the details for the animals, okay, Please draw in your groups. Okay, I want one final product so you can discuss. Draw on one person's piece of paper, okay, and then you can show me afterwards. Alright, so let's start drawing. Okay, you can discuss, you can speak to each other, okay, how to draw, which part to draw, okay. Yes, Hong Shen. Mr. Ma, how do I draw the beak of a hornbill? How do you draw the beak of a hornbill? Any more questions? Mr. Ma, what about the eyes of a tarsier? The eyes of a tarsier and the beak of the hornbill. Okay, guys, you want to come and um, 
do a Google search. Okay? Let's try to search on the internet. Alright? How do we draw the eyes of a tarsier? Do you know how to draw the eyes of a tarsier? No. We don't we don't see tarsiers quite often, isn't it? Okay, you might want to just type eyes of a tarsier. Actually, at the same time, you can also use your textbook to help you. Yeah? The textbook in our third unit. Okay, it's on the amazing animals. There are some pictures of the animals. You can use that to help you as well. Okay, press the image button. Guys, can you see this? It's a big of a hornbill. Yeah? You must, you know, you cannot draw a small one like a sparrow. It has to be big and long. Okay? This is the hornbill. What about the tarsier? You want to try the tarsier? The eyes of a tarsier. Come on, draw it big. And then remember, you have to label the parts, yeah? You have to tell me, okay, what is that? What is that? The different parts. Okay, if you look at the screen now, guys, that is a tarsier. A tarsier has very, very big eyes. Can you see? Yeah. Alright, Sujay, did I solve your problem? Alright, thank you. Draw only one. I want one final product. So I want to see you discussing with each other. Guys, you're supposed to discuss with each other, not do on your own. I only want one. You can talk to each other, don't worry. Okay? And then at the end, I want one piece of paper from each group. Alright, which one? Whose paper are we drawing? Okay, we draw on Feng Xing's one. Or is it Zhen Ting's? Empty. Okay, let's try on this one. Feng Xing, what's your problem? Huh? Very ugly. Be confident. Okay, help him. Is that a monkey's head? Ah? <laughs> Does a monkey head look like that? That might help. Okay, let's. Okay, the others, please. Give him the details, tell him the details, okay, and then he will draw. This is the camera. So when you use the camera to snap the picture, please hold it proper with both hands. I don't want a selfie kind of holding, huh? Alright, hold properly and then snap a picture, okay? Can you, uh, Jane, can you come and snap, please? Snap a picture of yours? Alright, each group, please send somebody to come in front to snap. Every group, okay, send one. Feng Xing, go and snap yours. It's okay. Okay, slowly, yeah? Be very careful when you use it, okay? Thank you. Alright, guys, can you get back into your positions? Okay, let's discuss. Alright, if you have not completed, it is okay, okay? It is okay, alright? We can... You can do this afterwards. Please get back into your position. All right, thank you. Okay. Do you like drawing that animal? It's difficult to draw, isn't it? Why do you think it's difficult to draw? Many parts, too many parts of the animal and then we haven't seen this kind of animal before, isn't it? Okay, guys, pencils down. I said, it's okay if you have not finished. It's okay, alright? Okay, who wants to come first and share with us your work, your product? Okay, when you come in front, please put your paper under this visualizer. I don't want you to play with the visualizer. You come this way, you don't come this way. The wires are there. Be very careful, okay? I don't want you to play with the visualizer, the visualizer like this, okay? Right, who wants to come first? Mandy, Alisa? Alright, come on. Okay, they are going to show us their masterpiece. Wow. Okay. Alright, tell me. How is it? Is it correct, this animal? No. Huh? No? What's wrong? Huh? The spots. The spots. The, the okay, Vishen, you were trying to say something. something. What, what did you say? The animal has stripes on its body, not spots. The animal is supposed to have what on its body? Stripes. Stripes. But then they got spots, isn't it? Okay, I think they confuse stripes and spots, yeah? Spots belong... Okay, where... Which animal can we find, can we find spots on the body? Leopard. Leopard. What about stripes? Okay, alright, it's just that, that little part, yeah, the stripes, it has stripes on the body, but the spots is supposed to be on the legs. Okay, never mind. But I think, I like this head, you know. Alright, when you look at this animal, what would you feel? 
Huh? You probably have a nightmare, right? Okay, and then, okay, I like this one. You see the, the handwriting is quite neat. You can see clearly. Okay, thank you very much, you both. Alright, next one. Can I have Feng Xing and Devin? Why do you say your work ugly? Come, don't worry. Funny, no problem. You are creative, you are not funny. Okay? Okay, let's see how, how, uh, how creative you are. Wow! Can we look at this one? You see the humps? ta -da. It looks like a crocodile's body, right? Okay, can we check everything? Is it correct? No. no. We have the ears, the eye, the beak, the trunk. A very short elephant trunk. Okay, long neck, spots, hums. What's this? Strips. S-T-R-I-P-S. Is this right? No. no. What is strips? Strips is strips of paper, isn't it? Something long and thin, yeah? But what is this on the, the body? Stripes. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. How do you spell stripes? S-T-R-I-P-E-S. S-T-R-I-P-E-S. Okay, you just go ahead and work on that. But still, I think this is a very creative. It's a giraffe's long neck. Can you see? The neck is so long. Okay, thank you very much. Alright. Oh, but before we finish, just now I asked you to take pictures, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to show you some of your friend's work. Are you interested to know how it looks like? Yes? yes? Okay, I'm just going to get the card out. Okay, and then we'll see what are the, some of the masterpieces that your friend has drawn. Okay? Can you see? The animal. Okay, this is one. Alright, this one is another one. Let's make it... Um, Whose is this? You see the elephant's trunk is a bit long up there, right? Okay, then you can see... Whoa! It has very, very sharp claws, right? Oops, that's it. Okay, alright, can I have your papers, please? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.